All right, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wonderful people also freedom all over the world. Wherever you're joining us from today, you're highly welcome to this wonderful YouTube platform that gives you quality news and information on all the activities happening in Pierre France territory. Please subscribe to this channel and make sure you turn on your notification because that is the only way we can notify you on all the matter where they happen for the Afran territory. And you know, when it comes to issues, you will agree with me that matter no the finish, especially things we consign the Biafran hustle. Why did I even use the word hustle? Well, definitely, it has actually entered a stage of hustling because for you <laughs> to actually get to a particular level of freedom in nigeria you must hustle your way out whether you like it or not nigeria is not ready to let you go nigeria is not for you <laughs> and they will not let you go because they know what you possess it's just like a man, you know, who has everything. And then um, you've been living, you've been living under um, the survivor of that particular person. You've been surviving through the help of that person. If the person tells you he wants to leave or he is tired, definitely you do everything possible to keep that person. You know, it's just, it's just the issue of Nigeria and... Um, um, Biafra, Nigeria have been sucking with their long holes, sucking Biafra with their long holes, sucking our resources, sucking you know our oil, sucking our a lot of things. You don't know how blessed Biafra is until it comes. Then you understand for so many years why you know this country would have even this so-called country called Nigeria. No, would have even be better from the 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 kind of resources they get from Biafran land alone. Are you talking about the oil? Are you talking about the mineral resources? Are you talking about the talents? Are you talking about the money being generated here? But yet, nothing to show for those things. Every day, we see different kind of um irresponsible greedy governors and politicians coming out to lie to us on daily basis that is what we see from year to year nothing is being done so why don't you fight why don't you fight why don't you do the needful why don't you support to see that freedom comes the freedom that these resources will be managed. Like I always say, and like the Prime Minister and the Unia Domazanam Dekan will always say, freedom does not come easy. Freedom is not free. A lot of things are involved. A lot of sacrifices needs to be paid. And they are paying it. A lot of people have paid enough. But more will still be paid for this freedom to truly come. On that note, I leave you with this wonderful video. You know, it is a video that is filled with a lot of um, intellects. People spoke a lot about a particular issue that needs to be addressed. You know, and the Prime Minister later came further to speak more on those issues. I want you to enjoy this video and make sure you share to as many groups and platforms as possible. Because Simon Epa is okay where he is. Mazinam Dikanu was okay where he is. His family are doing well where he is. He has a company and business that he is doing that is fetching him his daily earnings and paying his bills and everything. While there, he's even taking care of some of you that are in Nigeria creating avenues of existence and sustenance. So if they say, I don't want to look at you again and, and, and abandon you, the Fulani terrorists will cut off all of you in one day.
it will not take a minute in one day now with how many minutes does it take the missile that was launched against israel to detonate how many minutes will it take the the missile to travel the missile travels with the speed of light yes the missiles travels with the speed of light and then when it lands in your surrounding it has to destroy everything destroyable so when a war massacre happened how many people were killed inside that church were you able to capture anybody up till today have you been able to capture anybody oh when the other bomb that they did in a uh, you see the Lagos happen. How many people have you people caught up to today? How many people died in the process? So journalists that are very useless, Nigerian lawmakers that do not know their left from the right continue to be silly. You know, I like what is happening today because when you sleep and wake up, fire is booming everywhere in one Nigeria. And I, I, I wish to say something before I go on. Anyone and any day, anyone that has been shouting freedom, 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 decides to now call the same police and army of one Nigeria to go and arrest or kidnap or now have confidence in the hands of the oppressor and say, go and kidnap or arrest a fellow Biafran or a fellow Oduduwa or a fellow Ambazonian, from that very day, you are out of our list. I'm not going to mention names, but I have seen some posts that are making the round where I see that the Oduduwa brothers and sisters that stood up and started talking Oduduwa, some people that said they were talking Biafra are now calling on Nigerian police of one Nigeria to go and arrest a fellow Oduduwa agitator that is talking for freedom. The Biafran government are in tandem with anyone that is fighting one Nigeria to see that it is destroyed. You have your own modus operandi. We don't need to be on the same vein. You don't need to do it the same way we do. And we don't need to agree on everything. You can do whatever you like. But the rules of a freedom fighter is that any day that you change because of the happenings of the day, you change your decisions, you now start having confidence in the oppressor that you're fighting, that very day, you should be well checked. So now, we see Oduduwa brothers and sisters making declarations of Oduduwa Republic. And they have not gone to kidnap them or, or arrest them or. So the same way they place bounty on the heads of our prime minister, over $650,000. We are calling on Oaneze. We are calling on Igbo presidency. We are calling on Igbo senators. We are calling on Igbo ministers. Where are you guys? WIC, World Igbo Congress. When it was time for Igbo presidency, we people assembled us for a meeting. And everything in that meeting was all about, oh, Simon Ekba and your cabinet, why are you truncating our plight of Igbo presidency? Um, Mass success, they were from here. I see you. Um, Mazi David, the co host. Please uh, bring Mazi success up. Let him give us a ground zero report before you continue. I'll be back. Uh, Marzi David, are you there? Marzi David. No, I'm yes, sir. Back. Yes, sir. My minister, I'm here, sir. Over to you, please. I'm coming back. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, the Minister of Information, Marzi Sonny Aparawa. That was a wonderful introduction. Thank you for coming to speak to their friends. Despite your tight shadow, you have time to create this space in order to enlighten Biafrans and inform Biafrans of what the government is doing. Thank you so much. I welcome everybody, all the ministers in the house. I really appreciate your presence. 
I welcome you all, Mazi. Unko the number, Onye I welcome you as well. I welcome you, Kama Israel. Yes, and every other Biafran in the platform, I thank you for joining, including our ladies as well. I can't mention only two, <laughs> two people's name without mentioning our ladies' name as well. Sister Eunice, I saw you. Mouthpiece, I still see you as well. You see, one Nigeria is a joke. And even the journalists are jokers as well. Just like the Bible said, can anything good come out of come out of Israel or Jerusalem or Canaan? Some things good come out from Israel. Some things good come out from Jerusalem. But in Nigeria, nothing good comes out from Nigeria. As we all know, I will understand. Nigeria is a terrorist state, well-known terrorist enclave, and everybody in that contraction called Nigeria behaves like terrorists. In fact, if you are a one Nigerianist, to us, Biafrans, you are a terrorist, in the sense that terrorism has ravaged the nook and crannies of Nigeria, Yet you Nigerians, that you want us to believe that you don't love terrorism, yet you are not talking about it. You are not criticizing your government about it. You are not informing your population. You are not telling your citizens what is actually happening. That the government is complicit in what is happening. The journalists in that contraption that have the sole responsibility of creating awareness for the population, of telling the, the indigenous populations in Nigeria what is actually happening. Instead of them to tell the truth, they are there chasing shadows. They are more concerned about the Biafran agitation. They forgot what is happening at their backyard. Every now and then, people are killed, assassinated, Villages are ravaged. Indigenous population are displaced. Women and children are killed. And nobody is talking about it. The journalists are not talking about it. They are not carrying out investigations to actually know what is happening. Why such things are happening in such states, in such villages, None of them are carrying out investigation. They are all busy talking about Biafra. They are all busy talking about Simon Ekpa. Why is this so? Because the government that is bankrolling them have already told them what to do, have already told them where to focus. And that is why they are chasing shadows about Biafran liberation of all the problems that Nigeria has of all the problems that have bedeviled Nigeria at this particular time, including their economic strangulation, the economic hardship, they are only focused on the 15,000 soldiers that the Prime Minister, Major Simon Ekba, promised the Israelis. That is the only problem they have. And they are talking about it. They are discussing it. It becomes their headache. And they are calling our prime minister all sorts of names. Saying, oh, does he have the where without? Does he have the capacity? Where are the soldiers? Where are the soldiers coming, going to come out from? From Finland and all the rest of it. This is in a sense society. The journalists in Nigeria should tell the population the continued killings, the continued death, the jihad that is happening in Nigeria today. The journalists, if it were to be in America or in developed world, the journalists have the sole responsibility of telling the people the truth. 
the truth of what is happening. But in Nigeria, it is far from that. They are only focused on Biafra agitation. And to them, that is the problem they have. But unfortunately, for them, we are not dismayed. We are not deterred by what they are saying, by their propaganda against us. We are only focused, just like our minister said, on the rising sun. And there is nothing that will stop us from getting to our destination come 2nd of December this 2024. So we welcome you once again, fellow Biafrans, as we talk on this topic. Thank you so much. I yield my mic to co-host Kama Israel. Thank you, Kama, for coming. Thank you so much. Thank you. Can you hear me very well, please? Loud and clear, loud and clear. All right, then. Thank you, uh, Minister uh, Abarawa. Thank you, uh, David. Thank you, all the ministers in the house and everyone always coming to preach the gospel. I greet all of you. I say, may Chuko Kikabiyama continue to bless you and guide you and protect you and give you your heart desire. Um, we are here again to preach the gospel and the minister has uh, uh, said everything, explained everything. We are here because we know that this is our time and uh, nothing anybody can do about it. Our word is our word. Our word is yes and there is no taking it back when our prime minister speak he speaks on behalf of the biafrans we are children of chukukiabiyama the same as israel and uh, we have decided to offer help to our brothers because of the enemies that are coming against them. Our Prime Minister proclaimed 15K soldiers to IDF is a welcome development. And we know that we are capable. We are capable. We cannot look away like other countries. When our brothers have been persecuted, by the terrorist Arab world, we must help. We must do what we can do to protect our brothers. They have done this before, trying to eliminate us from all over the world. They did it in, Pol in Poland. They elim eliminated as many Jews as they could at that time. They did it in Biafra land in 1967. Period to that, there was a lot of killings all over the north before the war. They killed as many as they could. And today, the same threat is still imminent because we understand these people. When they say something, they will do it. So we cannot take that their threat for granted. And the intel that has been given by our prime minister, the Israel in Nigeria should not take it for granted. It's real. These people are ready to kill everybody in order for them to establish their Islamic caliphate in Nigeria, all over the world. And we're not going to allow them. We're not going to give them any chance at all. I know a lot of one Nigerians are saying one thing or the other, trying to mock us using their media. But obviously, they came late. We are 
on the top gear. We are winning them from every side. We have exposed them to later. They can't even say much. You know, they are afraid of themselves now because they are not safe in their own studios. So they are scared to the bone marrow. That's why they are afraid of analyzing PM and the worst PM was saying and they were just laughing joking about it and all that but they will see it will soon happen it will not be long they will see just like prime minister always promised some of them he said you will sleep in nigeria and wake up in Biafra. it will be uh, a difficult for them very difficult for them if they dare stay in Biafra land, when that proclamation will be made. Um, we are not far. We are not far from our victory. And we will continue to push. We will continue to preach the gospel. We will continue to do everything that is required of us to make sure that our pursuit for freedom you know is achieved we're not here to beg anybody we're not here to please anybody we're not here to make them feel good about us because we know where we're going just like the minister said the blueprint is already there the roadmap is already there. Everything that is required for us to get what we want are already there. We have a government, we have army, we have a lot of department going on. Our e-referendum is going on. We have Biafra coin. We have our database and what else? And so many other things are coming. We have our satellite. TV, radio, you know, and so on and so forth. What else do they want? I remember before they used to mock us, said, if you get Biafra, how are you going to run Biafra? What do you have? Do you have structure? But today, we have all that. That is why they don't know what they're saying. They cannot stand you know family to mock us any longer because we are winning them from every angle all i urge us is continue to do the needful always always funding this government funding our army making sure that we give our maximum support these people don't have soldiers any longer. And I keep saying it, I've analyzed so many of their videos, their meetings, their public outings. They don't have armies anymore. They don't have soldiers anymore. They just use all these armageries in the north, put them army clothes and put them behind wherever they are gathering for people to think that they still have, you know, uh, 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 so many number of soldiers they don't have anymore they are just living in denial and i know and i know that we are winning them from every angle it's me and you that have to continue to push continue to push until we get to where we are going we are winning them there is nothing they can do one nigerians majority of them they don't even know what to do anymore they don't even know what to say anymore but like like i said before nothing can stop us from getting biafra and that is why we are always here I thank everybody in the media team 
because we cannot emphasize overemphasize the importance of media in our own era everyone coming out every day every time to preach this gospel i thank you because you are doing a wonderful job this is exactly what our uh, able soldiers lack in 1967 but today we have filled the gap that's why they are planning on how to educate the eastern journalists on how to write you can imagine thank you so much uh, our minister i hang up here as we continue uh mazi david is not here anymore okay uh our able minister Mike. okay all right yeah our able minister mazi success you can take up the mic and uh, uh address us as you normally do whenever you come on board thank you sir thank you very much and god bless you good afternoon uh, honorable minister of the information and communication hope i'm coming up uh, loud and clear uh, very clear very clear all right all right all right i'll say good afternoon everyone and um, you're welcome to this very uh, space this uh, afternoon, uh, morning or night, depending on wherever you are spacing from. Uh, it is for the collective interest of the Biafran people. And it is also our duty to make sure we bring you information and guidelines back to back. And you know the happenings in Biafra and wherever else it is happening yes uh, in today's world the biafran defense force which comprises of the biafran air force the biafran navy the biafran uh, liberation army and uh, in general quotes the resistance fighters they are doing a very nice job and i also uh thank our soldiers and officers for everything they are doing now they are no longer the one coming we are not the people going for them and they, are, they keep up they, they keep on running though some of our activities are shared on um uh, social media uh, because of the sensitive nature of the operations but i tell you every night they don't sleep in their base you can see them in the morning, afternoon, when once night is falling, all of them will go and look for a hotel or anywhere to to check in, uh, depending when the money, uh, when the when the uh, uh, daylight uh, uh, sun is seen, before you see them wearing their uniform to come out. So we are at the verge of winning this war, and that's what prompted our prime minister with the hope and everything that he is seeing to uh, wide into the Israeli issue. As you can see, uh, people will say Israel is a very technological country and they have the most powerful air force and their technology is unknown. Yes, of course. But there is one thing that you need to understand that God positioned Israel in what they call the Middle East, which has the highest threat of human existence uh you look at the countries in the middle east uh top on the list iran egypt um lebanon yemen all those all those countries you find them they are not they are not your friends these are the breeding points of terrorists and god positioned israel there to make sure he dislodged them or maybe scatter their plans whenever they make the plans and you watch us in our own location where we are you found out that the caliphate are more 
and our morals. I mean, uh, can I say, there are more die-hard terrorists than that of the uh, uh, Middle East. So you can see we have a lot of war to fight. We have everything in common with Israel. And we can share intelligence. We can share um, fire powers and everything uh, possible, especially where they lack is populations. And where they lack populations in ground force, we will deliver to their doorstep. We are not helping Israel. Israel is our land. And here is their land as well. They are not helping us and we are not helping them. So we are trying, fighting to save the people of God from being destroyed. So our men are doing greatly, uh, uh, greatly in terms of their duty, uh, posts and whatever else they may, uh, they may be involved in doing. So they are, they are doing well. And you see, Nigeria is afraid of mentioning the name Japan Liberation Army because it is one of the most dangerous forces they have ever encountered. Within a short period, a short possible period of time, we trained an inevitable force, undefeatable force that no power in Africa can defeat. In large numbers, in large numbers. So, if Israel needs people, as we had, yeah, what Prime Minister Rati says, we will deliver to them. And it's not much making, and that's why you see they are not making it. Uh, they are not taking. You forget that you see them laughing at their studio. They are taking it very, very serious. Because they saw what happened during the February war, or the war that started on February, and how it ended, and how they cannot go to our base anymore and do anything. Let me shock you. You saw the one that happened in the Bolivian state last week. Where you saw them, where you saw those sound of gun coming, right? they're shooting those guns. We are the same place that these idiots say they are ESN. They were, and they posted their camp a few weeks ago, and they recovered three cars, and they won a pay for themselves, or something. So it is the same place that our men went, and, and they thought it was, a, it, was a, it was a joke as usual. And when they come, they met what they never know before. And today they are scared of going back there. Very, very scared of going back there. So our men are doing a great job. And all you want them is prayer. Make sure you pray for them. For sustenance and for grace. So they are not laughing at the Prime Minister. They are taking him very, very, very serious because they know he's a man of his word. When he proclaimed, he do. And that's what has been sustaining us. So God bless our Prime Minister, protect our dear nation, dear. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, our able brother, Sosset. Thank you for coming around. Thank you for giving us updates. You know that our PLA are doing the wonderful job. But it's always good when we hear from the horse's mouth telling us about the wonderful job that our army is doing and how strong and formidable they are. We thank you so much for coming around. Uh, we need uh, at least. Uh, few words sometime, uh, you know, to keep us going. Very, very important. Thank you so much. Uh, Mazi and Akonam, uh, you can go ahead and uh, speak, because there please, are other come hands on. up. Come. Uh, Before Anakonam, please, a mouthpiece of the gods is here, please. At least our female, please. Okay. Mouthpiece, okay. please. Okay. Okay. Unmute yourself and speak. Please. No problem, no problem. Thank you, thank you, Mazia Nakonam, for allowing me to speak. And oh, our host, Mr. Oh, say Mazi Aparoa. Nana, Kama is real. I greet you, all the hosts and the co-hosts, and I greet our wonderful brother, uh, Success 
to uh, for coming on board to come and uh, update us on what uh, our armies are doing. Uh, thank you, man. Name. I always pray for you and our uh, Biafra angels. Thank you so so much. And I greet each and every one of you ministers here, Mr. Snow. Um, uh, I don't know. Uh, please, if I don't call you, please, I don't want to take much of the time because there are a lot of people are waiting to speak. Please. I stand on all the protocols, please. Thank you, Go247, every one of you, I thank you. I just wanted to uh, take this opportunity because I'm being kicked out, uh, you know, uh, all of us who are in the media doing the needful, they always attack us, so uh, let me speak before they kick me out again. So um, we know quite well that, uh, you know, the, 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 our armies are doing well. Our prime minister, when he says yes, that is what it is. He stands on what he says. Because when you are standing on the truth, the gods are with you always. When he promised the Israeli, uh, 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 the Israelis that he's going to give them 15 soldiers from Biafra Angels, then the Nigeria, uh, Nigeria Zoological Republic knew that they that he meant it. Even when the media were saying, uh, uh, where will he get the 15,000 soldiers to give to Israel? They knew, even their body language tells, tells you the truth, that they know the truth already. They were saying, uh, where, where will he bring it from Finland? But they know he is more in Biafra land than even in Finland. His power, you know, speaks volumes in Biafra land. So whatever they're saying, if the army, their army is going to train them in the Southeast to uh, uh, maybe come and spread the propaganda uh, they, they usually do, it's not gonna fly with Biafrans because we already know what is going on. And they know we are going home. Our prime minister and, and the government uh, our BG uh, government is, is taking us home. So whatever they are saying is just, just propaganda. So we have to keep on standing. The media, oh my goodness, I have never seen this kind of media in any country. You see Biafra government media team, oh my goodness, I dove my cap for you all. You are doing the needful and you keep doing it because the way the Biafra angels, our foot soldiers are, are dealing with these, our enemies, that's the same way our media team are doing the needful because we never got this, um, if our parents and our grandparents got this, uh, uh, had a, a good media, they wouldn't have defeated, uh, uh, um, uh, by now Biafra would have been here. We have been, we would have been, we wouldn't be talking about a Biafra restoration. So my wonderful people, you, you are fearless and unshakable in your resolve for this Biafra freedom. We mean business to exit Nigeria and I stand with you every day, whether they kick me in or kick me out, always know that I'm with you in spirit. If I don't come, just know that I, I'm not allowed to come in because when I come in, they kick me out, I come back again. So please keep standing tall. You, the media, you are doing the needful. And I'm sure the prime minister, as he said the other time, he is very, very proud of the media team. Thank you guys and keep doing the needful. Israel is our brothers and we will support them. We are not, going, we are not supporting them because we want to gain anything from them. We are brothers, and nobody can stop us from coming to the aid of our brothers. Thank you. I yield the mic. Thank you so much, so, so much for having me. Thank you so much, uh, uh, our able sister, the lioness herself, mouthpiece of God, for always coming to give us that your wonderful wonderful message we appreciate you thank you um before i go to akonam akonam please because there are more hands up we keep it like five five minutes then we go around and the others can just uh, come back again and speak 
Mazakonam, you can go ahead and speak. Thank you. Speak. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon from here, dear friends. And uh, ministers, all the ministers are. Our information minister, please, uh, our information minister and uh, David Nanna, come as, come as real, uh, a.k.a. Nkong the number, salute you, and uh, Ama, Amuche, who go to 47, Mr. Snow, and uh, Frank, uh, and all the great girlfriends here in, in this very platform, I salute you all. Um, in fact, I only want to, sh I don't know how to show appreciation or uh, the type of joy that I am having. Sometimes I feel like speak speaking out the type of joy that I'm having on you people, uh, Biafran Media Warrior and, uh, and um, Biafran Cabinet. You see, when the foundation of house is very solid and strong, you can whatever you want to build you will build and it will, and it will stand so and it's very special way our prime minister uh i don't know how to now, now god go greet him i thank him for the very work he gave uh, nigerian government and all their agents by promising our brother israel fifteen thousand. you know is a very great work that is is giving them Meanwhile, he has, he is in the other side, you know, doing different things altogether. And they are there, interpreting and, uh, you know, uh, you know, discussing about it. Meanwhile, he has finished what he's doing and is on another place doing some, something else. So, which we will hear very soon. So, 100% support. And, um, you see, this is what happened in during Jesus' time. That is why the Bible says the, the, the apostles, they are one. They, are, they love themselves, doing one, sharing something to each other. This is what I am seeing in Biafran cabinet and the media warrior. And where there is love, where there is a, a peace and a harmony, it is it is move, you know, Mountain move, you see, that is exactly what is happening in, uh, in Biafran Republic uh, government in exile and the de facto government because there is love. Nobody is fighting each other. That is why I love. I like uh, one of our ministers here who said, the, "No matter what happened, we don't see. We don't. You don't see Israeli uh, media warrior fighting uh, uh, themselves physically. 